Yo, what's up everybody, it's Zombie. Today we are going to show you guys the quickest and best strategy for getting Dark Aether in Zombies. If you wanna get Plague Diamond, Dark Aether, whatever you're looking for, this is how you need to do it. There's no glitches involved in this video. This is strictly a strategy. I've been seeing all over the place that people are worried about getting their accounts banned, having to rebuy the game, because they're doing glitches. So what I wanna do is I wanna make a video that you guys don't have to do glitches. What you need to do is level up your gun in multiplayer first. Don't get camos as you go and you play zombies because you're going to get the first tier done and you're going to have to go back and do the next tier and the next tier as you level it up. Once you've leveled your gun up in multiplayer, then you need to come over into zombies and start your camo grind. What you want to do is have Ring of Fire on. This will allow you to get up to the highest rounds possible because Ring of Fire increases your damage dealt while you stand within it. Now as far as the weapon build itself, I'm not going to tell you everything you should have on it. The one really important thing that you want to have on it is the Tiger Team Spotlight because this increases your salvage drop rate. You're going to need a lot of salvage before round 10 to make sure that your weapon is doing as much damage as possible. So what you want to do is you want to go and start up a game in private mode. You do not want to play pubs and try and get camos. People that you match with will most, most likely not know what they're doing. Nine times out of 10, they're gonna get you killed and you're only gonna play 10 or 15 rounds before you have to quit and you don't get anything completed. Now, if you guys have never trained in zombies before, I have a video for that in the top right corner. Be sure to check that out. There's a couple really easy spots for everyone to do. It does not take a genius to train zombies. It just takes a headset and some common sense. Now what I'm gonna do immediately is make sure that I'm actually not wasting any time and going for the critical kills. The critical kills are gonna be the ones that take you the longest to do. So what you wanna do is actually let the zombies get into the map. You don't wanna kill them while they're outside the map. It'll lower your chances of actually getting salvage and drops from them. Now it's very important for you to be capitalizing on the equipment drops and your power-up drops like double XP or the insta-kills. You wanna wait until you have as many zombies on the map as possible. So don't grab the insta-kill as soon as the round ends. Wait for the next round to start, give it a second just before it disappears and then pick it up. That way you can get the most bang for your buck for these kind of things. And as you'll see right now, I am currently on wave seven and I have 15,000 essence, okay? I don't advise you to leave spawn until you're after wave seven, okay? So I advise you to wait until you have 1500 salvage and enough essence to not only get all the way down into the pack-a-punch power room, but enough to pack-a-punch your gun and to buy Deadshot Daiquiri. Oh, well why Deadshot Daiquiri? Why can't you just buy Juggernaut or Stamina Up? Well, dummy, the reason we don't do that is because you can get Juggernaut from the Easter egg with the coffin dance. So you actually get a free perk doing that. So you turn on the power, you get everything going per usual, and then you go into the Aether to go and get your Pack-A-Punch part. Since my power is now turned on and you see I have 1600 salvage, I'm gonna go over and I'm gonna upgrade my gun twice. So now that I've actually grabbed the Pack-A-Punch machine, it is completely done. Before I buy anything, I will buy the Deadshot Daiquiri perk. You'll see it's only 2,500 essence. It is very important that you don't do the Coffin Dance Easter Egg first, because if you grab that perk from the Coffin, every other perk is gonna increase in value. So you're not only saving money, you're getting things easier that way. Deadshot is your most important perk when trying to get your camos completed. Because like I mentioned earlier, the hardest and longest camo for you to unlock is gonna be critical kills. Deadshot ensures that you are on their head and getting critical kills nine times out of 10. Because when you zoom in, it snaps right onto the enemy's head. Your gun is already double leveled up and single pack punched. This gun is a one shot kill to the head for the next four rounds without even having to upgrade it again. Which is why you need to make sure that your Deadshot Daiquiri is fully upgraded, your Ring of Fire is fully upgraded, your Juggernaut's upgraded to give you an extra 100 health, and your Quick Revive is upgraded to where it triggers your refill on health 50% quicker. Those four right there are gonna be your most important perks and field upgrades to success for getting your camos the fastest without glitching. One thing to note when you are playing solos, you will spawn with your own self-revive kit. 
Be sure not to get knocked by some dumb stuff super early on because if you do, you lose that. That's something that you want to really hold on to until you have enough high-tech salvage to buy another one. And let me remind you, it costs 250 high-tech salvage to get another self-revive kit. So they're not cheap. You only get 10 high-tech salvage every time you actually pick some up. So that is 25 different high-tech salvage that you have to pick up in order to buy another one. It's super unnecessary to lose it to something dumb if you're playing carelessly and just kind of running around. You should be trying to get your camos with a purpose. If you play efficiently, you will get these camos very quickly. I can knock out an entire guns camo set in two matches. That's crazy. That's only maybe two and a half hours, three hours to get all the camos completed in two games. That's what I'm talking about. And of course, there was more than one reason for me wanting to, for you to wait to actually unlock everything, turn on the power, level up your gun three times before actually getting to this part where you train. Because now that you've turned on the power, not only do the dogs show up, the megatons do as well. I would say for you to buy Deadwire to do more damage to the megatons, but Deadwire just gets in the way when it comes to actually trying to kill the other zombies. It won't count as a critical kill. Sometimes it will electrocute them and it'll kill the other zombies around them. So you won't get your critical kill. It'll actually count as a regular kill. And that kind of stuff just kind of sets you back. And I'm here right now to show you guys the most efficient way to do it. So I would really wait on getting something like Deadwire until you're in your upper 30s or around 40s. It's really not a necessary perk to have. So as you can see, I have Deadshot and Juggernog and I'm just sitting here L2 spamming and I just killed an entire horde that was trying to push me. It's nothing, it's nothing new here. Literally, they're getting wrecked by this SMG. These Megatons do not stand a chance as well as the zombies. So we're just gonna sit here and shred these guys. Like I said guys, my name's Zombie and this is the quickest and most efficient way to get these camos without glitching. If you're worried about getting banned for glitching in zombies, Fear no more, this is 100% legit, and this is the best strategy to get it done. As you can see, I'm already back up to 800 salvage and 240 high-tech salvage. I have great ammo because I shred megatons, and I've got Ring of Fire again already. And by the time you realize that your gun isn't killing them in one shot anymore, that's okay, because you should have enough salvage and essence to go pack-a-punch your gun again or level it up. You want to go and actually level it up as you get enough. So you see I'm already almost at 15,000 essence again. As soon as this round's almost over, I'm gonna go pack a punch my gun again. And boom, look at that, wave 13. And my kills and my critical kills are pretty close in number. We're flying through camos doing this. Like I said guys, my name's Zombie, and I'm here to give you some Call of Duty guides. We do Yu-Gi-Oh unboxings, Pokemon unboxings. Right now we're in the middle of an Xbox Game Pass series where we are literally playing every game in the Game Pass. I stream Monday through Fridays at 8 p.m. Central Time, and I do Yu-Gi-Oh unboxings on Sunday. So feel free to subscribe to the channel. Leave me a like if you guys really appreciate what you got here today. If this brings you some value, let me know in the comments if this made grinding for camos any easier for you, because Lord knows it was a pain for me to figure this out. And once I finally figured it out, that's what I tell everybody. Dead shot, cough and Easter egg, triple level up all in the same round. You have to play it smart. Until next time, guys, take it easy.